everyone. So I am at Home Depot looking for some plants. I thought I might as well shoot a video and show you where things are at here. They have a lot of really huge tomatoes here for $24.98 and the double pot, very nice, looking good. It's very busy too, so I'll probably film and not talk that much, but I'm gonna start with the shrubs for something different. And it's really windy, so I don't have my mic on, so hopefully it won't distort too much. But I'll kind of show you what we have here. These are 19.98 the habanero peppers so i think that's pretty much the going price for the different peppers because so we have jalapenos here too sweet peppers more habaneros better bell patio snack cucumbers and they are 19.98 as well here we are into raspberries and we have Heritage. And then we have Boyne. Strawberry baskets. More strawberries. Currants. The cedars are pretty much toast. They shouldn't be that color. Looks like they've been froze. We have Global Cedars, which is kind of something I was after, um, but I'll wait a bit. It's 1748. They have their little spreading junipers for 7.98 here. These are nice. They're blue, but they're very um, scratchy. That's the word I would use to describe them. You can see here they're very. Um, they're not a soft juniper by any means, so if you like soft, that's not for you. And we have a bunch of other different junipers here for color in the garden. Once again, $17.48. Kind of pricey, I'll be honest. I think they're very pricey. That's why I hesitate. We have Mungo, Mungo. they call them Mungo now, Pines, $17.48. Now I will tell you that these do get big. I've had some in my yard and I've had them removed and they they give off a lot of pollen. In fact, right now here in Saskatchewan, pollen is brutal. I'm seeing it come off the spruces and everything and with our wind, oh, is it blowing. More Alberta spruces, these are larger ones. These are the dwarfs. They look pretty good. You can see them here. Some don't look as good, but you could clip that off and they'll be fine. Mine had a little bit of winter kill on them, but I see they've recovered already. All right, let's go around and see what else we have here. I'm trying to avoid all the people so I can talk a little bit as we go and share with you what I'm finding and if there's any deals. So their lemony lace elderberries are not looking good and I don't see a deal on them. Um, we've got some perennials in here. I mean, things are crispy. The cornflowers are just shot in here. This is where they have all their bargain racks here. I wish they'd mark them down. I mean, we have a primal pearl, hookah, it's toast, but it's got some new green growth on it, so they marked it down. I might consider buying it. That kind of thing. I always look for the deals. 
And you guys, I don't take anything for free. I don't take cuttings or pick up pieces of plants and try to propagate them. I don't do any of that shit. Because quite honestly, anything on the ground, they own. Endless summer hydrangeas. These don't grow here at all. I mean, even though we're moving to zone four, it's still zone three. And I've tried these multiple times and they do not survive. And I won't do it again. And we have purple smoke bushes here. Um, they don't look good. There's no, not much growth on most of them. Here's the sorted barberries here. Here's the one I like right here, this size. Is the one gallon pots. I think they're really nice and they're perfect in the garden. And I was gonna replace my potentillas with three of these. So I might come back next week and get those. And then we have spireas. These are looking good. Same price. These are actually cheaper. They're $7.98. And I like these in the garden. They do get big though. And then we have um, Furbis, Rose Glow, Japanese Barberries here. And I do like the modeling of the leaves. And these are good to minus 40. And these aren't bad. These are $9.98. And the nice thing, well, the thing about them is they aren't prickly like a regular. Oh, yes, they are. I was going to lie to you and say they aren't prickly, but not as prickly. But I can see here that there's some thorns on them. So I might have to get some of these for under my window boxes. But I can't put anything in there when I'm painting in the front of the house because it's just going to get stomped on. Unonymous green gold. These are gorgeous. These might look good in my underneath my windows. I might come back for those. This house isn't going to be painted to mid-June. And they're going to come and pressure wash it first and then paint the front. We're painting the rest ourselves. And we have boxwood here. They don't grow here at all. That's a waste of space. Yes, thank you. So, no use even bothering with them. And then we have a bunch of lilies. Last time I was here, I seen some really nice big pots of lilies that weren't in bloom. They would have been a good buy. I don't see them now. These are just the smaller pots, but it's like a big pot. It had like six or seven uh, plants in it. And um, they were like $14.98. So that's worth it rather than buy them by the bulbs and try to start them. Sometimes you're better off if you wait. Over here, we have more. We have cornflower, double scoop raspberries. These are $14.98. And you guys, when I shop, I share the prices with you. I mean, quite honestly. We have Monet, Proven Winners, Ygias. Don't grow here. Don't, you know, I know how Home Depot orders their plants. They get them in a big warehouse and then they ship them out and they don't worry about the zones. So, so we have a ginger wine here. And you know, I've been struggling with my ginger wines, nine barks, and my ginger wines. And then we have a lemony lace. These are the ones here that aren't looking so bad. But once again, when I see them all dead like that, it says minus 34. It's the coldest they can tolerate. So my climate, they won't survive. All right, let's go over to the other side. I can't go down the angles right now. Um, maybe I can sneak down the grasses, but the angles is packed with people. It's busy here. People are shopping for plants. You'd never know it by the store right now, but the parking lot is full. I do have a cart just in case I see something that catches my eye and I'll try to go down here. You can see, oh, it's pretty narrow. The reason I came out is I wasn't happy with the grasses I put as my centerpieces in my driveway. They are flopping so bad that I just... I, I want to replace them so I came to see what I could find and then I'll move those grasses somewhere else because they're, they're just not doing what I need them to do
You know, you guys, I kind of wish I would have grew my millet this year, to be honest. Hmm. I'm trying to find something economical as well for replacement. And that's tall, and this might be it right here. These are a full sun, spikes cordyline, and they have the height that I need. I think I'm going to take four and replace that grass in there. I need something spiky and something cheap. Because with the wind we're getting, if it dies again and the rain we're getting, it doesn't hurt my feelings. There we go. That's better. That's what I'm looking for. Economical budget day. Okay, more peppers here. We're talking sweet green, more habaneros. On the other side here, we're talking all the lavenders, all the herbs basically here. All sorts of herbs, you name it. Mints. A lot of people looking at the herbs right now. Lemon balm, love lemon balm. Catnip. Nah, I won't put that out. I'll have all the cats in the neighborhood in my yard. Matilda would not be happy with me for that. And then we have more peppers here. And these are the sweet peppers. They look really good. If I put them out, I'd have to protect them today. The wind is that bad. I don't know if you can hear the canopy blowing around, but it's really blowing. Okay, over here, we actually have peas and lots of tomatoes watermelons all sorts of stuff in there for vegetables can't go down there there's lots of people got a lot of baskets and pots here these smaller pots are running at about 15.98 um, i'd have to pot them up because they blow off my deck and here's the coleus and I mean, they're good, but they're also showing strain. And I'm having trouble with coleus this year. It's too wet and it's too cold. So when you see the leaves rolling like that, stay away from them. But they do look really nice. You'd have to buy these and keep them inside until we get stable weather. That would be the solution. It's tempting. The colors are gorgeous and everything. Like I said, I keep losing my coleus because of the weather can't even harden them off any further. I have them on the deck, but they're not doing great. So I suspect I'm gonna be without coleus in most of my beds. I did put them in the window boxes. They are holding on because they're more sheltered, but I'm not counting on them surviving. The Viva Petunias are really pretty. some really nice ones down here. Geraniums. Geraniums aren't liking it this year either with all the wind. Okay, let's keep going into the perennials and see how things are looking here. We've got lupins. We've got all sorts of proven winners, perfect perfusion perennials. I always got to check the zone on this. Three to eight, so that's good. And if you can't hear me, I'm sorry. It's just really noisy. Without my mic, I'm kind of screwed. All right. Dulce, Silver Drum Gumdrop, Toffee Tart, Variety of Hookahs. Spot On, Palmaria, Pulmonaria. 
zones three to nine, minus 40, they're hardy too. These have really pretty flowers. You can see a little bit here. And these are running at 15 bucks. They're pricey. What do we got here? We have more Prue and Women's, probably Lemon Balm. Am I right? Wrong? Rock and Glow Lemon Jade. Yeah. I like this plant. If I took it, I'm taking it for to take cuttings. I'll be honest. I might take one because mine keeps getting devoured by the rabbits. That one they like very much. Peonies over here are really pricey right now. They're 16, sorry, 1998. My phone's not zooming in like it should, but you can see here. And they're just your standard peonies. Let's see. <laughs> they got begonias in them, begonia flowers. Back over here to pink perfusions and some of the different salvias. I do like this particular salvia, the blue and white. Salvia will spread all over your yard. I don't care if it's proven winners or not, but it will spread. But that one is, in my opinion, worth having. And this is Color Spires Azure Snow. I might take this. Anything that I can put in my garden that will fill in gaps, especially in clay soil, and works well. Salvias work great in clay soil. They aren't picky, then we're good. Okay, so this is zones four to nine, and this is storm cloud, and it's an Amsonia, not for our climate. I don't care if it's four or not, we're moving to four. It might not make it, it's questionable. Pardon my rose, Monardo. More salvias, crosses. Here's the lilies. These aren't the big containers. Lots of hostas. Clematis. Okay. After getting through a big crowd of people, I can shoot again. So here we have the salvia. This is an annual salvia, but isn't that gorgeous for pots? And these are running at 10.98, I believe. Yep, 10.98 for them, but they're gorgeous. So if we have our vermilion on the other side and uh, a variety of nice plants for hummingbirds. And then we're getting into the annuals here now, and we're into the petunias. And this is the Viva Superhero Petunias over here. They definitely could use a good feeding. They're very small. They might be engineered to be small, but they're definitely engineered petunias. And then we're in impatience. Lots of impatience. And on the other side, we have scented geraniums. The citronella ones and down below is our proven winners again that you can see what we have there a lot of the super bells the sunrises the saffron finches down here we have our super bells dream sickles more proven winners up here nobody has the honey I don't know if they got more in or not. They look pretty full here, so I suspect they did, but definitely no honey. I don't know what happened to honey this year. I haven't heard anything about it, but it's definitely not available. Thank goodness there are other growers that grow orange versions of petunias now, orangey yellows. So it helps fill that gap. Ah, oh, lantanas down here. They also fill that gap for an orange. Lush and Golden Gate. Lemon coral. This is really striking. 
if you put it with your hookahs. Really nice with hookahs. They are $6.48 each. So they are expensive, in my opinion, for one plant. You guys can tell me if that's high or low. All right, I am calling it a day. I'm getting the heck out of here. It's getting too busy. So hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everybody.